Hi everyone, Carl at Technical Enduro Skills Training School. Uh, another five minute review video on some goggles. Uh, but before I do that, some of you may have seen my Liat helmet video, uh, GPX 3.5 helmet. Uh, now done 25 hours riding with this helmet. Um, still absolutely love it. Great bit of kit, um, comfortable, massive wide uh, opening at the front. The thing breathes really well. Um, yeah, just, just very good. So Eurotech uh, saw me do the video and they were kind enough to send me a pair of goggles because they saw that I was impressed with these um, and said, well, if you like them, have a look at the Liat goggles. Um, so again, completely independent review. Um, I'm not sponsored by Eurotech, although I buy my bikes from them um, and I get a little bit of discount from the guys. Other than that, you know, um, it's, it's a dealer I use. The guys there are great. Uh, but what you see here is my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I usually pay for things myself. This was a bit different, you know, the guys said, look, we have some promotional goggles, we'll send you one, um, have a look and see what you think about it, compare it to the other goggles that you've got. Um, and um, and I did, and, and I'm impressed, and, and I'll show you why. So they sent me this uh, Velocity 6.5 goggle. Uh, these are intended for um, mountain biking, uh, enduro riding, motocross, all the other sort of stuff. It's called the Bulletproof Goggle. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video online of them shooting the goggle with a 22 caliber pistol and then actually stopping the bullet um, um, uh, by, you know, in, in the lens itself. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the color that you see here is a promotional color. So you, you, you cannot buy the specific color, but um, they're, 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 they're amazing. There's many, many colors available. Just, just go online and have a look. Um, this goggle actually shipped with uh, a rose colored lens they're all double um layer lenses and um just uh, just you know very good really wide field of view uh nice color options available and so forth i prefer the clear lens especially in the darker woods um you get you know really good visibility with that um, and so forth the other thing is that when you get a spare lens it ships in its own uh, plastic container like that and you actually do get a lens and a goggle bag uh, uh, with a spare lens. So, you know, you, you end up with two of them. Um, if I compare this goggle to some of the other goggles that we've got, we, we use Oakley air brakes, we use 100%, we use Scott. The Liat goggle is something else, and I'll show you why. Um, so all of these goggles, really soft, flexible. Uh, the 100% goggle can literally fold it in half. They're, uh, they're all Scott goggle, all, all really soft and flexible. The, the Liat goggle is, the best way I can describe it is like a helmet for your eyes. This thing is, is solid. It, it, does not, it does not move. The lens is very, very hard. Um, it, it, it's, it's clearly built to a different standard. Um, it also complies to certain military uh, specifications this goggle um which is not surprising i showed this to somebody and they're like it looks military feels military it's it's it's, it's great um on your face itself um you get a really good wide field of vision both up and down left and right uh the foam padding is is very soft and comfortable um one big unique feature with this goggle is that the foam can can be replaced so you can pull it away from the frame itself and you can put new foam on your goggle. This this is actually a pretty big deal for me because um, we sometimes remove the top foam from our helmets uh, because we do extreme enduro riding. It really helps the goggle breathe. Whether you've got double lenses or single lenses, it doesn't matter. It just keeps a lot of a lot of sweat out of your eyes. Um, but the foam does deteriorate. Um, on my Oakley's and my Scott goggles, I've now thrown away numerous goggles where the foam is just pulled away from the lens itself. You can see here, this one doesn't have, doesn't have long to go. The foam will be pulling away from, from the frame. And then you, you're throwing the goggle away. I mean, it's, it's, you, you can't use it again. At least with the Liat goggle, um, if you do that um, thing where you pull it out and your, your foam does deteriorate, you can just buy a new, a new foam pad, which is great. I mean, you could even buy one as a spare and just keep it in your kit bag for when you want to you wanna freshen up the goggle. Um, it's very similar in other ways to how the, the lens is removed. You unclip these two um, outriggers 
um, and then you just um, pull the goggle apart and the lens just pops off. It takes, takes a few seconds. You can see on this lens here, you can see it's got two uh, slots there that slot in and then you just close the outriggers. Um, every goggle comes with a nose bridge. Uh, I tend to not use these only because I want as much air flowing into my face at slow speeds as possible. And if I just show you it fitting inside the helmet itself, so if I stick the helmet on, you can see the goggle, close the outrigger. Listen to how they click in as well. It's, 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 it's another grade of quality. Like, like there's really positive clip. It's a very firm, strong goggle. So you can see with the helmet, without the nose bridge, got nice breathing area here. Lines up with the helmet nicely. Just feels like a nice system that was made to, 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 to fit together. Um, overall, really impressed. Uh, give them a look in. I think when, when you pick it up, you'll straight away notice it's a goggle that sort of feels to me at least like it's made very differently from some of the others. You know, strong, firm, really, really good.